Hello, Stephen Bolger again, uh, talking about photography. And in my last video, I realized I was uh, thinking out loud and mentioning that I should uh, highlight one of Larry Towell's books, uh, which I will do now. Uh, it's called The World From My Front Porch. I think in these days of isolation, uh, we can relate quite a bit to the um, immediate world around us. And that's really the um, raison d'etre of this book itself, that uh, Larry and his wife Anne purchased a 75-acre farm in Bothwell, Ontario, uh, fairly close to where he was born and raised. And this book is really an homage to his home, but also the concept of um, owning land and how much uh, land ownership comes to define us as people and how um, situations can make it impossible to own land, whether through political pressures or economic factors. Um, the idea of being landless is a root cause of a lot of strife in this world. And that's what he talks about throughout this book. It starts um, really not quite prehistory, but these are uh, arrowheads that he's found on the site over the years that date back to the archaic period. So um, 5,000 to 1,000 BC. Um, these are photographs uh, that taken by prior owners of the same land that he lives on. Um, taken really not more than, you know, 100 yards from what's now his front porch. These are some family albums from his own family uh, from the early part of the 20th century through to the 1980s. Uh, this happens to be one of his first published photographs, and um, it's something that he took in 1974 while a student at York University, and it shows two of his sisters in an abandoned farmhouse. Um, so you can see how the idea of this place that he was from was very close to him at the beginning, but he didn't turn it into a photographic project until he started traveling around the world and taking photographs in many different places. And he found um, his home to be something of a refuge. And in many ways, he could unwind from a project by uh, photographing instead of just putting the camera down and becoming a family man instantly. He realized that he could ease into it by photographing his family almost as an assignment. And what strikes a lot of people about these photographs is that they don't look like they were done in the 1990s and early 2000s, but they look like they were made decades earlier and offer a very idyllic uh, look at family life, uh, rural family life. So his terrific photographs of his family fill this middle, pa middle section. And then we get back down into this really beautiful toothy paper that has a bit more of a diaristic feel to it or a novelist feel to it. And it includes more of his own personal artifacts. Uh, he's something of a pack rat, but he's also uh, a folk musician. And this is the uh, working copy and then the final copy of his Leica camera song. These are some artifacts that he collects while working. So these are keys and um, locks of houses in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip that have been uh, destroyed. And then uh, these happen to be family albums that he found in New Orleans in the wake of Katrina. And um, so much uh, garbage that had been left by the wayside that um, uh, really speaks about tragedy and um, the remnants of memory. Anyway, I highly encourage you to uh, look for this book. Um, we have them here, the World for My Front Porch, and we had the honor of co-publishing this with uh, Chris Boot and the Archive of Modern Conflict. Thank you.